What's going on, guys? Not much going on in the markets lately, so I had to get pretty creative on this one. I guess we could talk about the meltdown of the banking stocks or the complete implosion of the financial institutions or the 2023 bailouts. I suppose we could talk about crypto and the 25% pump that it's got over in the last couple of days. But since everybody else is talking about that stuff, let's do something fun instead. And by fun, I mean let's spend our Tuesday afternoon swimming around in an ocean of garbage. And I don't want to just dig through my own trash. That's right. I want to bask in a sea of consumption. I want that weird gelatinous goo that kind of seeps out of your trash can and never fully hardens. So I thought what better garbage to look through than yesteryear's forgotten trend. That's right, AI stocks. These things went from the next big thing to completely forgotten about faster than a one night stand. These things went extinct faster than the dinosaurs when the meteor hit. These AI stocks are the only thing more useless than last year's calendar. So maybe there's some opportunity. Let's have a look. So here we have Big Bear AI or BBAI. And as you can see, this thing went on a pretty aggressive run, peaked out here a few months back, and has basically just been coming down steadily ever since. And now here we're at a key area of support. And if we don't hold on to this, we're going to be in big trouble. Let's switch over to the candlesticks and take a look. So right off the bat, when I look at this chart, I see that we're at a crucial level of support. Back when the big AI craze got started in January, and this thing exploded to the upside, it left a gap all the way from $0.77 cents up to an open at $3.65. After that, it had a decent little retracement, and it came back to basically the same area that we're at right now. So if we turn on our drawing tools, we can see there's still a massive gap. And the gap is basically from about $0.84 cents to $1.84. Uh, basically about a 50% haircut if we break down through it, and we're essentially hanging on to that support as we speak. And I know the narrative is that AI is in this massive bubble, but I want to actually get like a little bit of perspective before we just focus on this one area. So if we just turn our drawing tools off and we zoom back out here, we can see that this thing spent the majority of its life in 2021 right up here at about $10. And then we eventually had that breakdown that took place in December of 2021, and it came all the way down to about five bucks, a 50% haircut. It then went another run to the upside, and topped out here at $16, and for the first time in its tiny little life cycle, was actually in profit. Didn't take long before it gave back all those gains, broke back down below the 200 daily moving averages, and then it's literally been melting down ever since. And while people are talking about AI being in a bubble, when I look at a stock like this that's consistently just making lower highs and lower lows, well, this is the most opposite thing of a bubble that I've ever seen in my life. So that being said, if we do just zoom back in here though, we can see where that gap is and that big area. And then we played around a little bit above the 200s and now we're back down at that level again. So right now at $1.84 post market with that gap going down to about 86 cents, we know we're ready to roughly lose $1 and 50% of this market cap if we do break down from this level. So if we just want to take a look at the life of this thing, we're just going to take our first point at the macro low and then just move it up to our macro high as well. And then we're going to look at the 1.618, which is our first Fibonacci extension target, and then the 2.618 as well. And in this case, we see that the all-time low was right at that 2.618. So we know that this thing respects the Fibonacci's, so we should pay attention to those. The next thing we're going to do is take from the all-time high down to the all-time low and see if we got some bounces on those Fib levels. Well, normally what we do is look for a touch at the 236, but because we gapped up and left that massive move to the upside, we didn't really get any kind of response there. We see a little reaction at the 382, a little bit at the 0.5, but nothing like super clear right here that gives us an impression that this is what people are paying attention to. So the final fib we want to do is from that all-time low to our recent high right here, and we want to look at the 236. Okay, now we've got a little bit of price action that makes sense. So let's zoom in here a little bit and we see from the low right here, we move up to the top. And then the first thing we're looking for is a touch of the 236, which we get, we get a little dead cat bounce. And then we move down to the 382. We bounce back and back test the 236. So now we know we're onto something. When our recent move back down here again, we took out the 382 and we came down to the 0.5 and we know that the 0.5 should act as support. That also corresponds with this little consolidation after our gap up move and retracement. So we know that where we're at right now is a very, very important level. It was the high right here. It was also the low right here. And now we're holding on to that support level as well. So we're just going to slap a little horizontal line in place to represent that level and where we're at right now. And obviously we know if we break down from that level, 
The next key areas we pay attention to would be the 618, the 786, or of course the gap fill all the way down here. So we have a couple key levels to pay attention to, $1.52, also $1, and then of course that gap up level or the 886 around like 80, 85 cents. So when people say that the AI stocks are in a bubble, I get what they're saying because they did have a crazy run recently based off that news with AI and everybody messing around and experimenting and playing with chat GBT and all that stuff. But the truth is these things are still down massively. I mean, this thing is still down like 80% from when it went public at $10. It's trading currently under $2. So it's hard to say that something is down 80% and still in a bubble. Now, I'm not saying that it can't deflate another 50% or more. But it is important that we keep track of where we're at perspective wise so what is the bullish and the bearish case right here and is there a way that we could trade it well the bullish case is that we already bottomed and that we're going to push up here and back test the 382 before likely going lower and that leads to about a 45 percent move to the upside now alternatively if we lose support here and we start looking at our support areas well the first one's the 618 it's down 20 percent then we have the 786 which is down about 50 percent and then we have just closing the gap, which is about 55%. So we know we have about a 50% upside and about a 50% downside. So at this point in time, it's essentially a coin toss. So what am I looking for? Some kind of exhaustion at this level, support, and then we can look for a potential scalp back to the upside. Or, of course, if we break down through the support level and close the gap. Now, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen, but we can take an educated guess and say, if it's basically a coin toss right now, and we have to risk 50% to the upside or 50% to the downside, probably not the best time for us to be entering into a long or short trade. The best thing to do is let the price action develop. So if we consolidate here a little longer and start to look bullish, you have to be really careful that the bottom can't just drop out on this thing. So in all reality, what I'm looking for is I want to just see it break. I'd rather just see us break down to those levels, close the gap, and then try to take a trade from that position rather than stepping into it and potentially getting hit by a freight train. So I can understand how people get excited for these AI stocks and it could be the next big thing. And we're definitely not in a bubble in the sense that we're at like macro highs and we've come a long way. We're actually down substantially from the all-time highs, but that still doesn't mean that there's not massive downside potential still in the works. And the way I look at it right now, the probability of dropping another 50% very quickly is not worth taking the chance for a potential 50% move up when more likely than not, we're just going to continue to the downside. We attempted to reclaim the 200 exponential and simple, and we actually did an okay job at it. But being unable to hold those levels tells me more likely than not, that was just reaction rally. And this giant air pocket that's left in the price action is probably going to get filled real soon. So for me, the AI stocks are definitely intriguing, but there's a reason everybody discarded them. So maybe if they drop another 50%, we'll look for a buying opportunity. But in the meantime, I'm steering clear of these bad boys. So it is fun sometimes to dig around in the trash when you're bored, but you play enough with rusty old metal and you're going to get cut. And while I'm up to date on my tetanus shots, I don't know if you guys are. So that's it. Just want to jump on here for a minute and take a look at BBAI and just kind of raise the red flag that this thing could be in some real danger. Obviously, like always, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile, so please do your own research and trade responsibly. So sure, maybe artificial intelligence is going to change the world one day. But in the meantime, I got a feeling it's going closer to zero. So yeah, that's it. Later.